Good morning, everybody. This is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. Um, and what was I thinking? <laughs> oh my God, it's cold. I'm freezing. Uh, it's seven. I think it's around seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's 40, uh, uh, 40 degrees outside. My windows are frosted over. You couldn't pay me to go outside just to take a picture. No. Um, but just so you know, it did not snow. Um, I woke up about 11 o'clock last night. And, because I had to go to the bathroom. And, um, it uh, still was... Uh, Fairly, I woke up kind of sweating because I thought, you know, I better get the blankets on. And I closed one window, the window that uh, the direction of the wind was coming from. The other window I still have open, which doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> anyway. I'm too cold. I, I, I gotta make coffee. I know I have to make coffee or, or make heat some water up because uh, everybody says that'll warm up the... I don't want to move. I don't want to get out from under my blankets to set it up. I'm just... Uh, I just want to stay in the blanket. And the high today is supposed to be 40. It's already 40. It's not going to get any warmer today. <laughs> So, <laughs> this is the reality. <laughs> it may look nice in pictures on Instagram or whatever. This is the reality. If you don't have heat and AC, any kind of heat or AC in your vehicle, you're going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> you're just going to be uncomfortable. Um, I grabbed my little defroster that I had bought to defrost my windows because I don't have heat. And uh, I may plug it in. I'm going to plug it in back here just to warm my hands up a little. It's not going to be strong enough to warm the whole area. But really, I ought to do that now, shouldn't I? Ugh, that means I gotta get out from under the blankets, though. I hate that. <sighs> I can't tell. Oh, okay, now it's warming up. A little bit. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll leave it on for a while. Maybe it'll take the chill off. Since I had to get out from under the blankets, I guess I'll heat up some water. Hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's chilly out. Chitty, chitty, chitty. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to look outside. Trust me, it's just cold. And I'd have to go outside to show it to you because my windows are frosted over. You, you don't need to see it yet. Maybe I'll show you later. <laughs> ah, get some hot water. Oh, that helps a little bit. <laughs> just put it inside my sweater. <laughs> but now back here is cold. I'm going to stick it back there. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I realized uh, being cold, um, I did heat up a, a pan of water and, like they suggested, you know, so I have steaming hot water here. Well, it's not really steaming anymore, but it's still warm. I could hug it. Anyway, I made coffee, and uh, 
I had bags of clothes that I had washed. Remember when I gutted the whole thing and I washed everything that was washable? I still had things in bags that I hadn't even gone through yet. Um, my uh, underwear drawer that I can't use because of the thing sticking up, um, it's still in a bag. So I um, found my socks, put socks on, because I've been wearing flip-flops all this time. My feet were getting a little bit chilly. <laughs> so I did find my thick socks. I got my socks on. I found my warm sweater. Now I look like I'm about 380 pounds. <laughs> Because I have like three tops on, but I don't care. It's nice. I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. I'm moving around. When you're cold, you got to move around. So I got things I need to go through. I'm going to go through them. Uh, I, I don't want to drive in this weather. Uh, it's not raining. It's not snowing. Uh, they're still forecasting it. But... Uh, yeah, I don't want to go anywhere unless I have to. So, um, I'm going to go through some things that I needed to go through. I thought it was a big mess down here in this corner. <laughs> and, uh, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. This corner down here. I thought it was a big old mess, but actually it's only three bags. One bag has my underwear stuff. It's under my, uh lamp. It's got towels and underwear, socks and things like that. The blue one has winter stuff, so it's got my purple sweater, had this black thing, and probably some uh, neck, wool neck scarves and stuff. And this is things that need to be hung up. Everything else, that's all that's back here. I thought there was tons of junk. It's just three bags. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I was starting to feel like a traveling hoarder for a while there. So, um, that's a good thing. <laughs> and, uh, burr, um, it's really not as bad as it was earlier. It's around 40 degrees. It was 36, I think, when I was talking to you before. And, uh, I still have, uh, I don't know if it's uh, ice. I think it's mostly just wet, my front window. I'm looking at my side window. It's wet because the wind was coming this way. So everything on that side got hit by rain. It wasn't a lot of rain. It was um, just a little bit of rain that I recall. And uh, this side is pretty clear. And so that's how... <laughs> That's how my day is going. I'm going through things. My fingers, I haven't found my gloves yet. Even though they have missing fingers, you know, they still would keep my uh, my hands warm to a degree. Uh, they might be in the winter bag. I have to go through that and see what else I can find in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty content being in the van. I could be in the van all day and not feel too bad. Now, if it was like for a week, that would be bad. <laughs> but uh, this is only supposed to last at the most four days, and then it starts getting up in the 70s again. Uh, on the fourth day, I think it gets up to 66. So, I mean, really, three days of real cold. <sighs> That's not a big deal. It just isn't. It's not a big deal. Oh my God, life's too long to worry about three little days? Come on. I always say life's too long, you know? Um, I mean, if I knew that my life was going to end uh, in three days, then I'd be a little upset because <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do some things, you know? But come on, three days. So you got to kind of uh, keep things in perspective when you're a nomad. And I sound like a, you know, a seasoned... Uh, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> but I'm learning as I go, and this is something I'm learning. You don't, don't sweat the small stuff, you know, it's just not a big deal. You still are happy, you still are in the atmosphere that you want to be in. I still can look out my window and 
see. Oh, I feel, it was so cool because I, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm amongst my people, you know, because there's a beautiful big old transit next to me. There was a van and a, a RV trailer and a RV. There was, you know, uh, it's kind of cool to be just in close proximity. And the guy in the trailer uh, had a dog and he was out doing stuff and he was just a little ways off, you know. And I was sitting, yesterday before it got cold, I was sitting kind of uh, on my door, you know, with the door open. And he waved at me and I thought, oh, he waved at me. <laughs> I waved at somebody <laughs> who does what I do. I was wishing he'd come over just to say hi, but he didn't. And I didn't want to, uh, I've already heard stories about people imposing on other people so I didn't want to go over there but I thought it was cool that he waved at me I could hear his wife inside and the dog and it was kind of cool anyway so uh, yeah that's it <laughs> so today might uh, I might not show a whole lot today because uh, uh, unfortunately once I do get those three bags taken care of. I've been thinking about some, well, I'm always thinking about how to make this better. I'm going to get some more of those hangers with the hooks, and I'm going to put three of them across the way, because uh, they come in so handy. I need more than one. And I think I will use those for hanging my clothes, too. But I'll just hang them across, you know, on this thing over there. Now, these, I don't know if you remember these, these were holding uh, my shoe rack. I haven't found my shoe rack. That might be what's at the bottom of that bag of the winter clothes. I don't know. It's in one of these bags. It must be in the blue bag. Um, but I don't know if, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if I'm going to hang it here because this is my bedside now and it would be hanging down right where I sleep. But I suppose I could cut it off and have just one, one thing. I don't know. Um, that's still on my mind on how I'm going to handle that. But I'm keeping these because uh, I could still hang something on it if I wanted to. Like my light. I could hang my light on it. Where's it at? See, I can hang stuff on it. So it'll come in handy one way or the other. Okay. And I'm going to shut up now. And talk to you later. Well, I've got about as much stuff on as I can have. And it's helping. Oh, man, it's cold. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be 10 degrees colder tonight. It's supposed to get down to 28. So, I did have um, my uh, quilt blanket. I had it wrapped around my... Uh, um, mattress. I was sleeping on top of it. It's pulled out now. So I've got my quilt blanket, I've got my black blanket, and I'm going to have a few extra layers of clothes on <laughs> tonight, and I should sleep fine. When I get under those blankets, it's pretty comfortable. Oh. <sighs> so, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Nothing to show you. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been kind of drizzly. I saw a couple snowflakes, but they turned into water. Tomorrow, all day, it's supposed to rain and snow. If it's going to be 28 degrees this, uh, overnight, I would imagine it's going to snow tomorrow. But uh, a day and a half more, and I'll be out of it. So, this is Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday, and it's going to be crappy all day, and then Thursday I'm going to drive back to where my son is. I just don't want to drive uh, in this weather. I'm nervous about driving highways, and, and uh, I'm just not going to risk it. Not going to worry about it. As long as i got something to keep me warm might be boring but it'll be warm so like i said before it's temporary <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> uh 
one more week from tomorrow I'll get my uh, next Social Security check and come hell or high water I'm leaving <laughs> heading south so in another week I'll be heading south I don't know if I'm gonna videotape anything for tomorrow because it's just gonna be uh, I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot because it's just gonna be too cold so uh, you may not see a, a, a video tomorrow, but don't worry about it. <coughs> I'll be fine, and uh, I'll do one Thursday. Yeah. Okay, everybody, stay warm, stay happy, <coughs> stay healthy, <coughs> as she coughs, and uh, stay hopeful. And follow your bliss. I love you all. I love you, Patty. Hang in there, guys. If I can do it, you can. <laughs> Take care.